Hi everyone, Kerry Jean Watson here. So we're going to go through the first lot of files of my genealogy and memory files collection that I did a few years ago. Um, so of course I have four grandparents and I've got information on their parents but I wasn't going to do separate files for each great grandparent because that was just going to get really huge and really out of the way. So what I did was um, my my surname is Watson so I went uh, what I did was that's my grandfather that's his parents and this is my grandmother his wife and these will be her parents or any information further along so we'll start off with my the side my name comes from which is things falling which is Watson. So I had a lot of papers around that I wasn't using so I thought I'd use them for the, this project and it was a great idea because um, it sort of brought my stash down a bit because I I've collected a lot of papers and also a lot of collectibles so um, this file will have my great-grandparents in it and what I did was let's see if you can see that so I did a, a I did a huge pile of tea staining papers um, ages and ages and ages ago, and they were just sort of sitting in my stack as well. So I pulled those out. So I I I created a form, and it's got the person's name, date of birth, date of uh, place of birth, date of death, place of death, what occupation who his spouse was, uh, when they were married, and any children, and any informational stories that I might know along the way. And then I added a photo of the person. So this is my great-grandfather, Leo Ryan Watson, from South Africa. And this is his wife, Alice Elizabeth Matthews. And as you can see, both sons are listed. Now, I haven't gone into uncles and great uncles and all of that stuff because again <laughs> genealogy has the ability to become bigger than Ben-Hur so I wanted to keep it quite simple and also it was about the photos that I had and the other thing I did was I was able to get a lot of information through some genealogy sites and I, I just printed on the tea stain paper with, through my printer and it was great because it comes up as a beautiful effect so that is a death notice for my great-grandfather and that is the marriage certificate for my great-grandparents and then I had some beautiful old photos of them and I just did an A4 size scrap scrap page layout which you know just put in a standard plastic protector at the moment I've only got one in there um, I will be adding more later on so that's one file down Now this is one of their sons, this is my grandfather which is Ryan Raymond Watson. Some lovely papers, um, a lot of the papers are Kaisercraft because I just had a lot of Kaisercraft because I worked at one of the outlets. So again we've got all of his information, further information, bit of inf bit of story about him that he flew planes in World War II. And these are some of the layouts that I did for him. Did I have any more information? There we go. I've got his death certificate and a bunch of information there as well. So these are some of the layouts I did of him. These are in my blog. I'll probably do links as well for you so that you can go and have a look at those. Uh, the family Watson. Uh, so this is my father, my uncle and my grandparents. Family photos with my mum's my mum and my um, my mum's family as well. So those are the only layouts I've got in there for the moment. Um, again, as I said, I've got a huge collection of photos that I'll be adding to. So that's the first one. And um, make sure you subscribe so you can see the next one. Thanks. Have a great time.